hey, we're going to be making our short rib melt sandwich, one of our favorites here at the Oaks Gourmet. Uh, and that's a sandwich uh, with braised beef short ribs, some Tillamook white cheddar, a little bit of butter, and, um, and a sour cream horseradish sauce. So we're going to start with two pieces of sourdough bread. We're going to build the whole sandwich and then toast it in a pan with a little Tillamook butter to get it nice and crispy and, and melt the cheese. Again, one of our favorite sandwiches. Um, starts with a um, uh, vintage white cheddar from Tillamook. I like to use the, the white cheddar because it has a, a certain bit of sharpness and nuttiness that really stands up to the, to the beef that we're gonna use for this sandwich. We're gonna layer the slices of cheese right on, right on the bread. Use as much, as much cheese as you like, okay? Then, I have here some, uh, some beef short ribs. Uh, braising beef is a fairly involved process. Uh, it starts by um, using big, big chunks of, uh, of the short rib, uh, seasoned with salt and pepper, um, uh, and in a, hot, in a hot roasting pan, we sear it on all sides to get nice and color and helps develop some of the flavor and, and uh, uh, get some caramelization on the outside. Then what we're going to do is add uh, some wine. You can use red wine. Um, I like to use sherry, sherry wine um, for the slightly um, fruitier flavor. Um, uh, and we're going to use a little bit of bay leaves and peppercorns and really whatever um, kind of flavorings and spices you like uh, and fill and you can cover it uh, almost all the way with water and then you're going to let that cook for about four hours or so until the meat is totally tender and pulling apart. So um, as I said, if you don't have the time for all that, then uh, the sandwich becomes super, super easy by finding a product that's already cooked and ready to go. I would recommend heating it up just uh, in a pan just like this uh, so the meat's already hot when we're building the sandwich. It'll help melt the cheese when we go back into it. Um, I've added some, some onions to my short rib because I really like onions. It would be really great to have mushrooms or peppers or jalapenos if you like it spicy. So we're gonna place the hot, the hot short ribs on one side here. Now already the cheese is gonna start to melt a little bit because we got the hot meat, okay? We're gonna add a little dollop of the horseradish cream we made from some Tillamook sour cream. Uh, a little bit of prepared horseradish that you can find in any grocery store and just a squeeze of lemon juice. This gives it a little bit of a pop and uh, we just like the little extra added spice there and a little extra creaminess. So we're just gonna dollop a little bit of that on there. Okay, we're gonna close up the sandwich, give it a little bit of a press here. And then we're gonna take a little bit of our Tillamook salted butter. We're gonna spread it onto just the top side. Now we're putting it just on the top side because what we're, we're gonna melt down a little bit of butter in the pan and uh, brown the bottom side with that melted butter. And then when we flip the sandwich over, it will be nice and, and buttered on the other side. We don't want to burn either side. Okay, so we have our assembled sandwich. We have our, our warm pan, nonstick is best. We're gonna melt just a little bit of our Tillamook butter here. We wanna make sure the butter is nice and bubbly, but not too hot that it would burn it, okay? Then, with butter side up on the bread, we're gonna put it right in the pan. We're just gonna let that, we're gonna let that cook just for a few moments so it gets nice and brown on the outside. And you wanna be at a steady, between a medium and a medium high heat. The idea is so that the uh, butter gets hot enough that it doesn't just soak into the bread and make it soggy, but that it's not so hot that it'll burn and turn your bread black before your cheese melts. Okay, so now that our sandwich has been cooking in the butter, for, it's been about two minutes or so now. We're gonna go ahead and just check underneath to see if we're at the right, the right doneness here. Yeah, and we're nice and brown, so you know, flip the sandwich right over. And remember, we're already buttered on the top side of the bread, so no need to add more butter to the pan. The first amount we got soaked up a little bit into the bread here. So we're just gonna let that go for about another two minutes or so on that medium to medium high heat until the other side is toasty and brown. So we've uh, browned our, our sourdough on both sides in the process, melting all the cheese right on the other side of that bread on top of the meat. So now we have uh, a really quick and easy, delicious sandwich. Uh, so we're just gonna take that right down here. At the Oaks Gourmet, we would cut it right in half and wrap it up and you're ready to go. So there's, there it is. There's our uh, short rib and Tillamook vintage white cheddar melt. Yum. Mm -hmm.